Congratulations by Simone. Happy Valentine's Day. That's right, guys. Valentine's Day is right up the road, the day of love. And I am here to share another fantastic DIY creation here at Creations by Simone. Now, as you know, this is my third video. Um, I had a series of three uh, Valentine DIY videos, and this is the third one I'm releasing. I've already completed two. And, you know, we always have to save the best for last, so I hope you're ready. All right. Well, before I even get started with that, I have to give a big shout out to my new subscribers. Um, literally guys every time I look on YouTube I have more and more subscribers and it really warms my heart I'm telling you I am just so thankful to God that he has just given me a platform to do what I love to do and to share it with people that love to do the same thing as I do so um, I have to give a shout out to God and I have to give a shout out to my new subscribers as well all right guys well we are ready to do this the day of love is here and I'm ready to share this DIY Valentine creation with you all right well as you know my glue gun is always heating up I'm always ready and if you're ready the only thing I can say is, let's do this. Bye. Happy Valentine's All right, my lovelies, let's get started. This is our third and final DIY creation, and we're going to do a puffed heart today, guys. This is going to turn out really, really cute. Um, I have a wine bar, and I'm trying to set that up, and I wanted to put some cute decorations on it, so I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to do something um, handmade DIY, so I came up with this really cute uh, creation, and I think you're going to absolutely love it. All right, this is tissue paper. Um, I got this from Walmart. You can get tissue paper anywhere. Pretty much they're all the same Dollar Tree Walmart where we get it is, is okay I got the red because I wanted to try to stay with the Valentine theme so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna open our tissue paper up completely as you can see I opened it completely up and then we're gonna go ahead and we are going to cut it in strips all right guys so I'll go ahead and I'll start the um, the first one here and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut completely down and we're gonna do strips okay all right let me go ahead and do one more here and then I will show you the next step that we need to do I think you're really gonna like this you guys this is gonna turn out really really awesome I fell in love with it so um, I just wanted to share it with you as well okay so now that we have our two strips cut what I'm gonna do is I am going to take this and I am going to cut it into squares all right, so we're just going to go down the strip and we're going to cut it into even squares. Now, we don't want them too small because the way we have to maneuver the tissue paper, we do need um, it to overflow over our, our pen. And, and I'll explain that more as we get into the video. But just make sure that you don't cut it too skinny. All right, guys. So I am just cutting and we're going to go all the way to the end of our strip so we can get our squares here. And almost finish. All right, I think I got just, I can get another one out of this, you guys. All right, all right, so I have this cut, and like I said, make sure you cut this into uh, even squares. I'm gonna go ahead and show you one here, as you can see. So not too big, not too small, but they are even. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go through this. I'm gonna finish cutting the rest of the strips and the squares, guys. All right, let's do this. All right, my lovelies, we have finished cutting our paper strips. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut our template out, our heart template. Now I got this um, heart from the Dollar Tree and as you can see, it has some ridges around it. I don't want to use the ridges, so I am just gonna um, draw my um, outline just a little larger just so I won't get the ridges, but um, it should turn out pretty well. All right, so I'm just gonna take a pen, I'm gonna go around, then once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out. All right, my lovelies, let's do this. I didn't know what I meant to 
be alone I didn't know till the day you were gone That I could ever feel this miserable Without you here with me But now I'm standing looking in the mirror Wondering whatever happened to what I Deep down I thought that there would always be enough all right, my lovelies, I have cut the templates out. And as you can see, I have two uh, templates here because we're going to have a top and a bottom piece. This is a puff tart, so we want it to look fluffy. So I'm going to fill one side with um, the paper, and then I'm going to do the other side, and then we're actually going to put them together. All right, so we have our Mod Podge glue here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush. You can take any type of paintbrush, sponge brush, and just go ahead and paint a little portion onto your template. And I would say just do the like corner of it or just do it as you go. You don't want to do the whole thing because if you do it, it'll dry out by the time you actually get your um, paper down there. So it's best to go ahead and just do a little portion of it. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just do a couple just so you can get the concept of it. And then we're going to sort of speed through the video. All right. So I have my pen here. You can use a pen or a pencil. It's just I happen to have a pen around. So I'm using that. You um, take the paper, you put it on the pen, twist it around, and then you put it onto the template. You just stick it where the uh, Mod Podge is and it will stick. And as you can see, I'm going to do the skin on the pen, the bottom of the pen, twist it around, and just stick it directly where the Mod Podge is. All right. So you're just going to continue that cycle. Now, if you see that your Mod Podge is getting a little dry, then you can just go ahead and add a little more on there. But basically, we're just going to repeat this until we finish the whole heart. Now, like I said, this is very sort of time consuming. So um, you, you might have to do a little, then come back and do a little, which I actually had to do myself when I was filming this video. But um, it's very beautiful at the end. So it's really, it's well worth it. All right, guys, so I'm going to just continue to do a few here. I want to give... Um, the full effect now when you first see this don't get discouraged it will when it fills up it's going to look very very pretty all right my lovelies let's go ahead and start this guys I just wanted to slow this down a little bit I just wanted to show you this how it's starting to come into form and I do have a little side note here I'm not really feeling how I put the Mod Podge on the template itself so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pour a little Mod Podge into a bowl and then I will dip as I go that way um, to me it just works out better all right guys let's go Alright my lovelies, I wanted to slow this down once again just to show you the progress thus far. And as you can see, it's really starting to fill up. Now, um, I just wanted to remind you towards the end of the video, or not towards the end of the video, but when we finish filling this out, we're going to go ahead and we're going to trim this up, okay? So we'll get everything on, we'll trim it up, um, just the little ragged edges, and you'll see how it really comes into form. And I also wanted to go over this again because I don't think I did um, show you exactly um, when I changed it over. We're still going to do this 
same thing, put the paper on our pen, twist it around, but we're gonna actually dip it into the Mod Podge and then we will add it to our template. And um, you just like in layers, just keep going. Like as soon as you put one, put another one. So it's real easy, but I just like this way a little better as far as um, it's sticking. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and go to the end. Let's do this. finished the first portion of the creation and as you can see I have two small hearts and I have two large ones now I didn't do them all on um, the video because this is very time consuming as I said so I had to do one um, and then I did another and I actually just filmed one of these I just wanted you to get the concept but if you can remember earlier I told you we have to make two of these because this is a puffed heart and we're gonna um, put those together so we can get that full effect all right guys let me just show you um, briefly briefly um, what I'm talking about here we're gonna take one heart we're gonna set it on top of the other one and then we are going to staple them together now you can either staple them or you can glue them it's up to you um, either way they hold pretty well but this is going to be the final outcome and then we'll trim it up and everything is needed as well all right guys well what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go through this and I will come back and I will show you once everything is put together all right guys let's do this my lovelies we've made it to the end once again to another beautiful creation here creations by simone where we create beauty one creation at a time all right guys you got to tell me how do you like the diy valentine puffed heart i think it turned out absolutely awesome you guys this is the perfect decor piece for my valentine bar i think it really made it pop and i am just so loving it this was very easy to make now although it was sort of time consuming the final and end result will be absolutely beautiful and you can use this for um, more holidays than Valentine's Day I mean this could be used for a wedding um, just any type of DIY event where you just want to add a little more pop so I am really feeling this and I hope you enjoyed watching the video just as much as 
I enjoy creating the, the hearts itself. All right, guys. Well, once again, you know, I always like to give my new subscribers a shout out. I just want to thank you once again for giving me the opportunity. Every time I look up, I have more and more and I'm just so excited. So thank you from the bottom of my heart because I have so many things coming out that I want to share with you. I have an upcoming graduating DIY video that I'm going to share. And also I am hosting a baby shower. So I am going to be having more DIY baby shower items as well that I want to share with you. All right, guys. Well, don't forget if you like the video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Also, like and share and subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend, tell a family member, tell everybody about Creations by Simone because we have so many things here that we are going to do and we want you to be a part of it. All right, guys. Well, once again, I will see you soon. And thank you again for stopping by Creations by Simone where we create beauty one creation at a time. Bye. Cause deep inside I'm crying for my baby It's gonna be a while before I'm okay Cause now that you're gone I know No time to wait for no one You gotta say what you want If you were here with me now I'd say that you're the one Cause you're the closest thing to an angel That I ever met So don't you worry I'm